As you all know, Bitcoin is dumping right now like crazy and most likely going to be having a target of about this 52, 53k range. Now, what does that mean? That means that the total market cap right now, total three market cap, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum, is also severely dumping as well. What does that mean? Well, that means that if you have USDT, if you have maybe some altcoins that you don't like, you want to sell and redistribute your funds into other altcoins, there are a lot of buying opportunities right now in the charts. We can see once again the total market cap down another 6% in just the last 24 hours. Trading volumes are up, of course. People understand there is a lot of positive things to be made from these dumps in crypto. And overall, we take a look at some coins on the 30 day like Stacks down 30%, we've got Core down 30%, uh, Jupiter down 25%, Injective, Fetch, a lot of coins are down a lot, big, big numbers over the past week, two weeks and a month. What does that leave? Well, that leaves opportunity. Around $190,000 I am going to be deploying into altcoins in the coming days. And I just wanted to make this video on the Altcoin Jack channel just to share some of the altcoins which I'm looking at some of them which I may be buying and just overall make a video about it because there are a lot of good opportunities in the market right now. So as again, uh, again, I said Bitcoin, of course, I will be buying a little bit of Bitcoin. But honestly, this bull market, if you're buying Bitcoin, unless you're buying a crazy amount of Bitcoin, you're not going to make more than a 2, 2.5. Maybe if you're extremely lucky, a 3x on Bitcoin this bull, uh, this bull cycle. I don't really see Bitcoin going too much above 150k, um, in my opinion. So again, we're currently sitting at about 60k, 6, 12, probably a 2.5x at the best for Bitcoin. That leads me on to other things like like for example, Solana. So we're taking a look at Solana right here. Solana is currently sitting at about $120. Now that would sound, sound like a very, very good deal. However, we look at the stochastic RSI, it's coming down a little bit lower. We are seeing it around 20, 29 to 30 range. Again, when it was down here at about and $127. We saw that range a lot lower. And again, it looks like it does have more room to go. As I said on the main CryptoJack channel today, I am looking for a target of Solana in this range here, about $105 down to about $90. Anywhere in that range, I'll be deploying capital into Solana and probably a lot of it because I'm very bullish on Solana. Chainlink as well. We can take a look at Chainlink. Again, it's still got a little bit more room to go towards the downside. Again, it's currently at around $12.50, um, $12 $12.70. Again, a little bit more room towards the downside we can go before we do, in fact, get this golden little area right there. And again, if you're buying in this area back up to the highs, it's over 110%. That's absolutely amazing. There's no reason why in the next month or two, we can't see the prices push back up to these previous uh, recent highs, not all time highs, recent highs. Another one I'm looking at is Pyth. Again, Pyth had an incredibly bullish run after its launch right here. It went up over 400% in the space of literally just a couple of months, three or four months. It was incredibly bullish. Now we've seen a retracement back down to around 50 cent, seeing highs of about a dollar, dollar 15. Now we're back down at 50 cent and this could be a good time to purchase. Again, we can see 128, 130% back up to all time high, also recent high. For Pyth, it gets me very, very interested. Now, now, Pyth has actually broken this very key level right here of about 50, 50 cent right there. And we're currently sitting at literally just a little bit below 50 cent. Again, if we can get an entry point below 50 cent for Pyth, potentially even going down here at the 40 cent range, I think this could be very, very interesting. When we take a look at Pyth on the daily uh, stochastic RSI, it's looking like it is towards the end of its um, dump right here. So any time now could be a good opportunity. However, keep your eye on Bitcoin. If we're seeing Bitcoin drop down from this 57.5 range down to 52K, even wicking down to 48K, then of course, all the altcoins in this video mentioned will see further dumps. Again, another very, very cool um, coin, Fetch AI. Again, very, very big AI narrative. This bull market currently sitting right here at the $1.90 level of support. Will it break it? Well, in my opinion, yes, it will. We've seen a couple of tests right here. We've seen even a wick down below it right here. This was back um, back around, around uh, two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. We saw it wick down below. Again, I'm expecting Fetch AI to come into this $1.40, $1.50 range for me to get 
more interested in this token. I think that would be very, very interesting. Let's take a look at Injective. Injective, again, I'm very, very bullish on Injective. I think it's a great um, coin. Again, it's broken this recent level of support and most likely it will be coming that back down to these levels right here. These levels right here are between $18 to around $14. So if you can pick some Injective up around that range, I think it could be pretty good. I mean, overall, it's performed well. We can see right here in the past, let's say, let's say from right here, or let's just do from the start of the year, or from the start of the year, it's not actually done too great. So from the start of the year, it's up around 50%, but overall, it started its run pretty early compared to some other old coins. And again, it's looking to re um, retest these levels of support down here at around the $15 range. So anything closer to $15 would be an amazing pickup for Injective. Render, another great narrative for this bull market we can see right here taking a look at a render it's currently literally fighting with this level of support right here at approximately um seven dollars again if it breaks this like it did many times right here it broke it right there as well we could expect another wick down into this buy box right here at approximately six dollars or below which between around four dollars eighty to around six dollars would be a great buy for injective and if it goes lower you can add more to your bags as well Taking a look at OP Optimism as well. Again, this is another one which is quite a lot down from its high. We can see right here, down around 62% since its high. And again, if we do see a dump on, uh, on Optimism right here, we can expect a target of around below $2. Probably something like $1.80, $1.70 would be a great price to pick that up. From current price levels right now, there'll be another 30% dump. Again, all of these coins going into these price targets all of which I'm talking about today is all dependent on this single Bitcoin price in the next couple of days. If we see a wick back up into this descending triangle right here, and we see a continuation back above 62, 63, 64K, then we are most likely gonna not see these old coins go down to these levels. However, if we see the Bitcoin price continue to fall, which most likely it will, at least to this 53, 52K range, we are gonna see the old coins um, go even further. For example, this Bitcoin drop right here from the current levels we are right now, here's only around a seven to 8% drop. However, for some old coins, that would lead to a 20 or 30% drop for those old coins. So there are a lot of opportunities out there in the market. Again, guys, like I said earlier in today's video, I am going to be deploying a lot of capital in the next couple of days. And I think that this should be the right time to do so. As, as I, I've showed you this video, um, this chart right here on the CryptoJack channel a few times before, but this was the accumulation stage. We are now right here in the breakout stage of these altcoins and this is the market cap excluding bitcoin we are going to see a massive pump to the upside for altcoins it's just a matter of time having a dip like this is possibly one of the biggest godsends we can see in crypto before this massive bull market which we are going to all experience thanks so much for watching today's video guys subscribe to the channel if you do like this content and i'll catch you in the next one